there are basically two different types of lung cancer, non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer. And it's really as simple of, as what it looks like under the microscope. And so non-small cell lung cancers are not small. Small cell lung cancers are small. Small cell lung cancer, this represents about 15% of all lung cancers. It's a particularly aggressive form of lung cancer, very uh, quickly growing and often uh, metastatic that is spread through the body at the time of diagnosis. You know. So it grows very rapidly. And the, the piece about that is when your cells are dividing rapidly, um, they are attacked by chemotherapy well because chemotherapy attacks rapidly dividing cells. So chemotherapy works exquisitely well in small cell lung cancer. So though we have these great responses, and really sometimes they look like complete responses, looks like the cancer is gone, they almost invariably come back and come back very aggressive and very difficult to treat, um, not responding to most other treatments. So there's been, I think, a renewed interest in clinical trials in small cell lung cancer lately. Um, there's, there are many uh, targets that are now being identified and being actively pursued in small cell lung cancer. We're just beginning to look at immunotherapy as a real target in small cell lung cancer. The thought with immunotherapy is that if one could train the immune system to effectively recognize that cancer, we might get more durable responses. The response rate might not be as high as it is with chemotherapy, but the responses that you get might be much more durable, and that would really be a tremendous benefit to patients. So if we can activate the immune system, maybe we can get rid of those cells that are going to repopulate. So that's, that's an exciting new advancement for small cell lung cancer. There are other potential inhibitors that act to work with chemotherapy, or again, after chemotherapy, some activate um, the, uh, the angiogenesis where they make blood vessels and block blood vessel formation to potentially decrease the chance of recurrence and uh, metastases. Um, and then other, other pathways that work with how the cells cycle rapidly, because again, we talk about they're dividing rapidly, so working on that aspect to try and block that and potentially make more chemotherapy more effective. There's a, there's a good amount of research and I think acknowledgement by the NCI and, um, and other foundations that small cell lung cancer needs more research.